over the stretch of destiny and the beginning of the season, the Kings' first seven games. Now, and if you miss any of that, you can rewind on YouTube. You can check it out on the Sacktown Sports app, of course. But now, Chris, it is time for the revenge games and for the holiday dates. I Send it over to you. Yes. We'll start off with the holiday dates just because, uh, you know, you never know if anybody's uh, planning something or if someone's going to be in town or anything mm -hmm. like that. You just want to know uh, what's going on. And unfortunately, there's really not much from a holiday perspective. There will be no game on Halloween for all you Halloween heads. I believe it's on a Thursday. Halloween is this year over the Kings do play on Friday the next day. So if you are uh, one of those adult Halloweeners who, uh, like to, you know, Halloween has definitely become an adult holiday. Oh, yes. hundred percent. Like, you know, I do enjoy Halloween. It, you know, obviously, you know, you let the kiddos get their candy, <laughs> but <laughs> yeah, you, people be feeling away on Halloween for sure. Uh, so the next day, if you are taking it off because you celebrated too hard, mm -hmm. uh, there is a game against the Atlanta Hawks on that Friday at 430. So nothing on Halloween day officially, but uh, the very next day at 430, you play the Atlanta Hawks. Uh, there will be no game on the day before or the day after Thanksgiving. I know those are always, you want to talk about festive days, you know, the, the day before and after Thanksgiving is always when everyone's in town, you go out downtown and you're like, Oh my God, so good to see you. All that, uh -huh. all that jazz. Uh, unfortunately you cannot go to a Kings game. If you are in yeah. town or have any friends or family in town for Thanksgiving, that's pretty unfortunate. And of course, no game on Thanksgiving day either. Uh, there will be no games on Christmas for the Kings, of course, as we discussed the other day, but they will play the following day, December 26th versus the Detroit Pistons. So hopefully it'll be a very, very, very Merry Christmas for us all. And we won't have to deal with sadness the day after. And then uh, you have on January 1st on New Year's actual day, uh, you have a game at seven against the Philadelphia 76ers. That's always a tough one for us, uh, especially in media, because, uh, yeah, we if we have to go to the game uh -huh. on the next day, let me see here uh, if there's any leading into it. There is not. So, yeah, January 1st, the Kings play uh, at home against the Philadelphia 76ers. That'll be on a Wednesday at seven o'clock. So, again, anyone who is celebrating too hard on New Year's on a Tuesday, uh, you, you might at least have some time to recover the next day before your 7 p.m. tip off. Mm -hmm. So there you have it on the holiday dates. Uh, if there's any other holidays, I don't have uh, Valentine's Day in there, I guess. Uh, maybe Easter. I'm not sure. Uh, but yeah, those are your holiday dates. In terms of revenge games, these are my favorite kind of games when you have uh, either a king going back to their home place or a place where they spent many years or you have uh, some of our, our old familiar faces making their way back to sack. We'll start off the season early November 1st. One of the first games of the season is a revenge game for Kevin Herter as he returns to Atlanta, uh, where he was known as K Vaughn uh, to play the Atlanta Hawks. Again, that's going to be at 430. We mentioned that one a little bit earlier. Orlando Robinson, the newest Sacramento King who played in the Fresno Pro-Am. Uh, over last weekend, he returns to Miami on November 4th. That'll be at 515. Davion Mitchell, everyone's favorite uh, guard. Uh, probably not, but uh, everyone everyone remembers fondly. Trust Davion your work. Mitchell, trust your work. Exactly. He returns to Sacramento on November 6th. So all you Davion Mitchell fans out there, November 6th at 7 p.m. will be Davion's return. Jordy Fernandez, uh, hot off a, a interesting summer for Team Canada, of course, was Mike Brown's right-hand man his entire tenure here in Sacramento so far. He returns to Sacramento on November 24th. That'll be at 6 p.m. We saw last season what can happen if you're on the wrong side of an HB revenge game as he mm -hmm. gave it to the Golden State Warriors for a season high. What was it, 36 points or something yeah. like that? Uh, we hope that on December 1st at 6 p.m., HB is not feeling those same feelings and uh, he does not give it to us that night as the Kings play the San Antonio Spurs on December 1st. I think a lot of people are going to be excited for that. Uh, definitely, Whitey, I think, joked as we walked out, will there be a tribute video? A million percent. There will definitely yes. be an HB tribute video on December 1st, so I'm sure the Kings social team is, is already working on that one. Uh, and my least favorite return, one Tyrese Halliburton, <laughs> On December 22nd, sounds like I'm getting coal in my stockings 
this Christmas, December 22nd, uh, Tyrese Halliburton returns to Sacramento uh, at 3 p.m. for a, a nice little day game against the Sacramento Kings. And then last but definitely not least, DeMar DeRozan makes his return to Chicago on January 12th at 4 p.m. That should be a good one. Uh, I have a friend in Chicago. I might have to uh, make the cold trip down there in January. So we'll see how that goes. But those are your revenge games. Again, Kevin Herter against the Hawks November 1st. Orlando Robinson November 4th. Davion Mitchell returning to Sacramento November 6th. Jordy Fernandez returning to Sacramento November 24th. HB hopefully not on his revenge tour on December 1st. Howell Burton, Tyrese that is, uh, on December 22nd. And DeMar DeRozan going back to Chi-Town on January 12th. So is it only a revenge game if you're playing in your home arena? Um, I would think so. You got to be in front of the fans that, that, you know, okay. supported you for that time. So are we going to get, I mean, in general, it can be a revenge well, game. I say Duarte. That team. Oh, yeah. I mean, I, just, I, didn't, didn't, I guess if I put Orlando Robinson in there. But you, I, yeah. yeah I just, Duarte, Cause Duarte on the bulls. Now, I mean, obviously. Yeah, sure. sure. You got that one. Uh, the Bulls come to Sacramento. I think it was uh, a little later in the season, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, they come to Sacramento March 20th, Chicago does. So for all you Chris Duarte fans out there, for everybody who uh, Duarte stole your heart last year, March 20th. And as we know, Sasha Vizenkov not playing the Kings well, no. this year. He, yeah, dug, he, he dodged all the smoke. Jalen no McDaniels. Jalen McDaniels, yeah, I mean, I guess they are talking terribly about him. He gets his chance at revenge real early in the season. They play in Toronto yeah. uh, to start that that first seven games. The sixth game of the season on November 2nd, Jalen McDaniels gets to right all the wrongs of last season. Well, so it's going to get awkward here now. Yeah. Uh, no, I'm, I'm about to make it awkward. Okay. Harrison Barnes, he gets a tribute video, without a doubt. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Davion Mitchell. I would think so. He yeah. does, right? I would think so. He doesn't have to, but I would think so only because they drafted him. He has. Yeah. Because of that. Yeah. yeah. Uh, yes, he has to. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Davion Mitchell. Oh, I that, know that was good. Oh, okay. Gotcha. What? No, I just wasn't sure if that's what I, that was the awkward. Is there more? No, no. That's I was just wondering what, what was going to make it awkward. Well, right? Davion, I just the fact that we were even questioning I just think Harrison Barnes getting one is not even a question. No, it's not a question at all. I mean, he he's played he played five seasons, five and a half seasons, I think, for the Kings. I mean, there's there's no way. I mean, not a lot of people. I heard uh, Whitey and Drapes ask Sean Cunningham yesterday, like, it, should he be on their top forty? And you you just you can't not have him on there because he he was not many people spent that many years with the Kings, and frankly, he did put up really good numbers. Um, of course, the impact wasn't always there, but, you know, the numbers are, are pretty undeniable, especially from a, a Sacramento King perspective. What's the line? And this guy is actually still part of the free agents that are left. But what is the line on the 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 tribute? I mean, obviously, Chris Duarte is not going to get a tribute. No, definitely. But not. if but if JaVale McGee gets signed, no, no. he just gets a. No. Hey everyone, give it up for JaVale McGee. Yeah, he just gets a a, a a friendly intro from Scott Moak when he checks in the game. That's all you get there. He might get a little something. He might get a little something. He's not getting a tribute video. He spent like six months here and then bashed everybody on the way out. <laughs> which no we appreciated. Way. I definitely appreciated it. Which we he, appreciated. I don't think the Kings did. So we have two tribute videos. Obviously, Demar will get Demar's one. A million percent getting one. Did Halliburton ever get one? Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. He definitely did. And yeah, Herder. He's already. I'm sure he he's got his a while ago. Yeah. Wow. Rosen, definitely. Like they don't said. do tributes for Jordy. Coaches, might. Right? I wonder if Jordy. Or, yeah. Might. Will they have one for Jordy? Jordy might. Jordy definitely might. He. He. Uh, yeah, I would think so. I mean, he was so close with Mike. I, I think that they'll do something special for him. Um, Tribute video. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, it it might we might be stretching the term tribute video a little thin this season. Like maybe it's not a full, you know, minute long montage right. or something. Maybe it's like, hey, here's a couple clips and here's Jordy. You know, here's Jordy on the big screen. Give us a wave <laughs> kind of thing. I don't I don't know if that'll count as a tribute video. You know, I feel like you got to have somebody voicing it over if it's a tribute video right you know? right well harrison will get the full he'll the get the bells full and send. whistles yeah he'll yes. get the full send 100 percent, no doubt coming up next david aldridge ranks the kings in the top 10 of best off seasons what no you don't have to clean your ears 
I did say that correctly. We'll talk about why and how the Kings